Hey guys, what's up? I'm back for my fourth video. So this is a two-part video. The first part, I'm going to be adding red sugar crystals to my blue slime. I know I, this is like the second or third video I did with, I'm going to do with slime and making it. And honestly, I'm so not done with it. I keep adding stuff and all that. So look, look. This actually helps it form quicker. This actually helps it form quicker. Salt. I'm going to add some idolized salt. It helps. There you go. I'm just gonna add a little bit because you know I want too much, girl. And I just sprayed a bunch on the floor. Yay! And I'm gonna. It kind of gives it a lightish blue color. And also, if you live in the St. Tammany part of. Um. Louisiana, or particularly Slidell, you can actually come in, and because we are, we are going to have, I don't know if any of y'all have heard of this, but it is called the Daraja, the Daraja Kids. They're a choir um, that sings for that God, and they are wonderful children. They are so nice. Then they are coming to town, and we are going to be seeing them on, at concerts-ish, kind of, not really. But they're going to be coming and performing for us uh, this Thursday. So that's February the 23rd. So I'll put that in the description below so y'all can write it down and all that. But I don't want y'all to miss it. It is awesome. Because everything is awesome. to add the cool part. One second. Okay. I'm going to add the red sprinkles. It's, they're really sugar crystals. I'm really just seeing how this goes. I have not done this before. I'm hoping it works though. Because this will be awesome. If it does, it will make like purple -y. Um, okay, Ugh. my friend keeps texting me in the middle of the video, Ugh. so it's gonna give kind of this purple swirl to it. I These are just sugar crystals that I'm putting into the slime. These are red like sugar crystals that you put in candy. Or not candy. Cookies. Yeah, cookies, not candy. <laughs> Okay, my friend keeps texting me. I should tell her to shut up. But I won't. Um, I feel nice tonight. And this is a really big um, this is a very big container of my this blue slime like it, I know it doesn't look like much on camera, but trust me, guys, there is a 
a lot going on in this contraption that I've made. And really, I should put this in the freezer, but since I can't find a top for it, I'm not going to. And the slime comes off fairly easy, pretty easily, and you can also use it as, as kind of a, um, as kind of a soap for your, your stuff. So I just put the idolized salt because it makes it, don't spill I'm not, it makes it cool faster, I guess you could call it. So that, that one's still in the making process. But this one I have put into a little baggie and I it is done. I am just still kind of keeping it in there and pushing out all the little chunks. But look at that. It's my reed slab. Ooh. It's really kind of thick. But I'm still letting it set for a little bit longer. Like I just made that a couple days ago. And it is only, I forgot to put it in the refrigerator. So it's only been in the refrigerator for today. So it is going to be in there for a while. So yeah, that was it. Um, let me wash my hands. And quick tip of the day, I think I've told you this, but I, I, we use Method a lot, dish soap and all that, but literally, y'all are going to think I'm crazy, but this dish soap really works. It actually works even better than um, regular soap, like the foaming soap, because you know how it gets all that grime and stuff? It actually kills... 99.99999% of germs and when you wash your hands with soap and when you when you clean it with the regular soap So, practically, when you wash your hands with the foamy or the liquidy soap you have at your school or house or whatever, it only kills 99.99% of germs. And this... And so basically, and if you clean it with the dish soap, it kills 99.9999% of germs. Where I know I just said this, but the other foaming or liquid soap only cleans 99.9% of germs. Or 99.99% of germs. So yeah, it's actually much better for you. So. Let's see. If you watch this, my next video that I'm going to upload is going to be a night routine video because my my girl, my girl, or my friend really wants me to do a morning routine. I really don't want to do a morning routine. So instead, I'm doing a night routine. This is my second night routine, I think. I don't know why she keeps asking me to do night and morning routines because I've already done one. I've already done one. So I do. Okay. So actually, there I am in Girl Scouts. So there are going to be some a Girl Scouts mom coming over. But she will not bother us, I promise. Let's see. 
cheaper than a plane ticket. So I definitely want to try it out. I feel like a lot of the videos on the internet are fake, so I want to do This is who is she? As you land, and she is going to be mailing herself in a box. It's probably old though. Okay, she looks like she won't. Yo, what is up, guys? Before I get started, him, um, she won't curse. And so I'm, I made myself in a box to Santa at the North Pole, and it really worked. And I don't think so. I don't think Girl, really. we have on Boovin ever since I touched him the other day. And I'll try oh, wait, I've seen this one. I'm gonna do this one. Please don't try this at home. What's going on guys, I'm back with another video and recently you'll know, of course, there's a lot of stuff going around about mailing yourself in the post and I was like, you know, I was like, that seems pretty fun and uh, you guys would know, in three weeks is Friday, guess what day it is, it's Christmas day, everyone loves Christmas, well I hope you guys like Christmas, if you do like Christmas then sure to smash that like button, uh, but no guys, if you and like the next Christmas, one I'm gonna I decided, play you know is what, I mailed I myself in a box to my school, to mail myself to worked. the North Pole, say hi to Santa and uh, get my present early and I was like, you know what, that would be quite interesting. So if I can mail myself to a little pole, get a hit sound and run. With this box challenge, mailing yourself challenge going around, I thought I'd give it a go. So let's go and get a box and let's have a go, guys. So I have this box right here, as you can see, and it's pretty big. If I open it up, look how big that box is. I'm going to fit in there very nicely. So uh, that's going to be good. This box, I reckon, is going to be good for Santa. He's going to love this. I'm going to write stuff on the side here and post myself. It's going to be good. I'll easily fit in this box. Alright guys, so I just had a quick test and obviously I'm sitting in the box right now. Here we go, I've got a big smile on my face, I'm really happy. There's me down there, those circles are my muscles and my obviously six pack abs, as of course I have because everyone has them these days. So uh, yeah, I'm, I can easily fit in this box, so I feel like this is going to be a good video and I can send myself to Santa and it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm going to write my message to Santa and see what I'm going to put in my box and I'll get some supplies for my journey in the box and then we'll post myself off and uh, I'm ready to go. Not gonna fit in there. All right, so I have written my message. As you can see, hi, Santa. I would like that pony I never not got because uh, if you guys don't realize, a couple years ago I asked for a pony from Santa, and I never got a pony. You know, I just got a horse. I mean, who wants a horse when you can have a pony? I mean, seriously, guys. And guess what? That's when I'm gonna make my night routine video. Are you kidding me? So I thought I might be in the box like a week or two or maybe a couple days. I'm not too sure. I'm going to get some food for the journey because we're going to need some food. Let's grab this apple right here. I feel like that's going to be enough for a week or two. Um, I'll just like eat slowly and that should be good. All right, so I'm sitting in the box now. I'm just going to insert my letter there as well as put my He's apple not. in there my, for my food for the thing, for the journey. And uh, I decided I need some water. So, uh... There's some water that's going to last my journey. I should be good. I should have enough water and food to last oh a week gosh, or two. I should have known this. Not actually mailing yourself. Put a pumpkin with a big smiley face. And then a body with all the ab stuff. 
and then he took a bite out of an apple, put it in there, and put a little note for Christmas. But uh, never... I'm really going to have a part two of this, guys. So I'm going to go now to the post office, mail myself off, because as you can see, I'm sitting in there. I'm going to mail myself off. Um, the, bo the box doesn't freaking close. We're going to have to tape that. But I'm going to mail myself off, and when I'm at the North Pole, I'll have a part two coming out to what I'm... Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's see if they actually mail themselves to... I'm gonna play. We found a real treasure chest, the most epic treasure. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. So I'm sure all of you have seen the new trend where you ship yourself to different places in a box. Now I'm gonna be shipping myself to a school. So my family recently got a new TV, and it's like 70 something inches. And I figured it's a good idea for me to ship myself in this box. Awesome. I, I thought it was my school. school. That's something that I think is a bad idea. But what's it said my school. It says my school. S'mores, hashtag s'mores, girls, Because the next essential thing is we need them to know that it's going to be this side up. So, get this, and just, you know, I mean, so that should definitely make it so they don't know it. Nobody actually has the money for postal stamps nowadays, so all you guys want to do is just draw an American flag on there. They will know you're an American if you do this. And then, because since America is all about treating each other with equality, they will be like, wow, this is a true American, and we're going to give him free, a free voyage across America to my school. So let's get on to the next step. All right, guys, so some of the essential things we're going to need is definitely food. So we're going to be going for a really long time. We're definitely going to need food. So we're, first, we're going to grab some applesauce. Now we're going to come in with some cereal. It's looking good to me. Cereal. And then you got to get your protein, guys. So we're just going to get an entire thing of peanut butter and go. And who does not want dessert when they're out, right? So I think we're going to grab some maple syrup, you know, get something sweet. And um, I think that's going to do it for everything that we need for our journey. Actually, you know what, guys? Who doesn't love some good old raisins? So... I'm just going to get those ready. I don't like and this is what we're gonna Sorry, guys, but I don't. I believe I forgot the most important step, which is getting water. Everybody's going to need water when we're out on that voyage. Hell, we'll even get a sunny day. So, now that we've got our drink shirt, the last thing we need to get is activities. Because, you know, we're going to get bored in there, and um, it might start to smell, which is the last thing we're going to need to do after this. But then we're just going to grab some books. You know, it doesn't matter what books they are. Because if you're bored, you're bored, you're going to read. So those are the activities that we're going to have. And the last thing is weights. Because you guys know... Mom! Okay. We're going to be in there a while and we're not going to be able to move. So we still need to keep in that good... Is your mom out there? It's gravity or are we falling in love? I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, no, I'm falling in love. I love that. I love that musically. Hashtag musically for life. I'm gonna drink the rest of my Sprite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gonna brush your teeth I know, I'm gonna drink some of my Sprite. Um, that good physique, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna get them weights. And lastly, we need something to use the bathroom in. So I, I came up with this idea to use a soap jar. Now, this might sound kind of weird. Think about it. There was soap in here before, so it doesn't smell bad. So that covers all of the things we're going to need for our voyage. So now, guys, it is time. We are about to get on the road to the school. So, guys, we already have our postal stamp. We have Upways. And uh, we're just going to get this box ready. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with taking the lid off. Right, so Look, it's funny. Have... He told everybody, and some people, I bet some people who watch him are Canadians, right? Right. Or UKers, or UKians, or whatever you want to call them.
And so he basically just told them the secret that you can do. But luckily, it's be a I live bit of a in fit, Louisiana, but, which is you know in whatever whatever works. So United States. I think we're gonna start off with getting our food in there. So applesauce. That's it. Next, we're gonna go ahead and put our Cheerios in. Peanut butter. Raisins. Oh, that, that's not on very well. It's okay. Don't matter. That's it. And our syrup. Now, this is the most important because we all love dessert, so definitely get that syrup in. So now we have our books. Now, these are really, really important because if we get bored, we're definitely going to want to read. It's disgusting. Right, okay, guys. Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to upload this video, and then I'm going to make another one of my night routine. Yeah, bye. I hope you have a sparkly night. Bye.